how's it going everyone uh, tonight we're gonna make play-doh which is a little bit different um, than our other DIYs but we have kind of rediscovered our love for play-doh let's jump right in because it's gonna take a while for this to cook we've got half a cup of cornstarch a cup of baking soda three quarters of a cup of water and then your oil of choice tonight we're using citrus fresh because that's what the kids wanted they wanted citrus so and I kind of talked them into it <laughs> so I'm just adding my dry ingredients in first we're gonna try to get them all mixed up together and I've already turned my burner on just because we're gonna put the water in and get it going all right it's good enough there next we got our water and this takes a while so we just get it going and get started stirring around yeah Chloe's birthday was in July and we actually kind of rediscovered play-doh because um, we got her a little uh, play-doh set for her birthday and our kids had so much fun with it they played with it for hours and hours so we actually got a little dentist set where they can make teeth and braces and they need more white play-doh because they have destroyed it all and so that's what the color we're doing tonight is white you could just as easily add in any food coloring that you want and make any color you want um, but yeah tonight we're gonna do white which is Nathan says is boring but <laughs> it is what it is so yep you get this going right here and we're just gonna stir it until it starts to thicken up and when it starts to thicken up, you can add your food coloring in if you're going to add it. In my case, I'm just going to leave it white. And then um, once it balls up around the spoon, you take it out and you knead in your essential oils into your Play-Doh. So it's got a scent and it's kind of a lot more fun to play with. It adds more senses. It's good for um, for kids with sensory who like want to touch more stuff or smell more. You can involve more of your senses, which is always good. Um, so while we stir this, does anybody have any questions or anything about any of the DIY stuff we've been doing? <laughs> Thought I'd throw that out there. Um, you all are welcome to ask any questions you've got at all. And I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit. Hopefully I don't burn it. This is a complete uh first time <laughs> recipe so it could completely fail it could be like um a pinterest fail big time but we'll give it a go and see how see how it goes stirring stirring all right So, starting to smell. Hopefully, I don't set the house on fire. That might have happened one time. The kids will never let me live it down. But I caught the stove on fire that one time. So, try not to do that live on Facebook tonight. It's starting to do something, but I don't think it's quite thickened up yet. You can tell it's getting there though. Alright. Let's see. Okay, it's definitely starting to thicken up now, which it's only been a couple minutes. It's faster than I thought it was going to be. Alright, now that it's starting to thicken up now is when you would want to add your food coloring in. Um, if you were going to do that, we've got just a little bit longer before it's finished up from what I can, from what I have read. So far, Pinterest hasn't failed me. I mean, with this recipe, with other ones, so... starting to get some sticking action. Get it just a little bit longer. Oh 
don't know. What do you think? You think that's about done, Nathan? Mm, look like. What's that? Maybe a little bit longer. I said once it starts to ball up around your spoon, I would say that's balling up. Yeah, let's call it done. We'll see how it goes. It may or may not be done, but as far as I'm concerned, it's done. Okay, just turn it out on a plate here. Looks kind of like mashed potatoes. Don't eat it though. It probably tastes terrible. Stick that in the sink. Oh yeah, that feels like Play-Doh. It's really hot, but feel it. Good stuff. All right, cool. That's it, guys. We're going to, as soon as that cools down, we don't want to put it in too soon, but I'm going to drop, I believe it's at eight drops of oils. So I'm going to drop it in, and then we're going to just knead it in like you would any other kind of dough. And then that's that for DIY Play-Doh. Y'all got, you guys have a really good night. That's it tonight.